Let's go shopping for my kids' Easter baskets this year. So we have an Easter basket that the girls use every year to go Easter egg hunting with, but this year we're gonna be doing Easter beach bags <laughs> for the girls. We have a vacation planned, and the girls have an idea of it. They know, they hope that we're going to the beach. This is gonna be confirmation that we are. I know we live in Florida, so we could be going to the beach a lot, and we don't really do that, honestly. Um, but whenever we do, it's not like a super nice beach and we're going somewhere really nice and really fun we went last year and the girls just had the best time we had the best time we went with my family and so we're gonna be doing that again this summer so anyway we're putting together beach bags for the girls they need new bathing suits and like sunglasses and things like that and then I'm also gonna grab you know some like Easter treats things like that so we'll see what we can find at Walmart I'm gonna take you guys with me we're gonna go shopping together and then we're gonna go back home and we'll put the Easter beach bags together Okay, the first thing that I noticed in their little dollar spot um, area are these $5 bags. And they are water resistant. So these could definitely be used for a little beach bag. I was kind of thinking something mesh for the girls, but, um, but I don't know. These could definitely work. You see how, like, you can turn this over and get all the sand out if it gets wet it's no big deal it will dry so there's five those are five dollars they have a blue with the green strap the purple and then they have that yellow pattern i think brooklyn would definitely want <laughs> the blue one and bentley would like that one i'm gonna put this back and keep shopping and see if i see anything else but they have tons of candies and some spring decor let's see what else we find I used to get so excited when I was a kid and I could get these from the gas station, these little like Krabby Patties. <laughs> get these huge chocolate bunnies for $5. This is, it's one pound. Okay, so I'm gonna get the girls a coloring book. They only have SpongeBob here, but they love SpongeBob. So I'm gonna get a coloring book for them. And then I'm also gonna pick up some crayons. And they have these little pastel ones I wanted to show you guys. We have the regular colored crowns, so... Oh, they have confetti ones, too. Interesting. I wonder, like, what does that mean when you're coloring? Is that... Are there speckles? I don't know. Oh, guys, they have all kinds of different... They have neon? Neon crowns? Okay, I think I'm gonna get one pack of pastel and one pack of neon so they can, like, switch and share. I was wrong they have a little bit more than spongebob so i'm gonna get this one for bentley or for brooklyn and i'm gonna get the spongebob one for bentley they have tons of stuffed animals guys i'm definitely not buying one because we have a million squishmallows in our house who on here likes peeps you have to vote down below put a yellow heart or put any color heart pink yellow purple if you love peeps put a broken heart if you don't like peeps but if you like peeps have you tried these sour watermelon ones yet? Because I wonder if these are good. I love peeps, so I think I'm gonna get these for me. You guys know my kids love bubble wands. I'm not getting these, but how cute are they? They're peep slippers. They have these ones too, and look, one has a little headband on it. Okay, they have chocolate crosses too. That is so cool i've never seen these before i've only seen the bunnies okay i'm not getting these either because i already have easter bunny ears at home for the girls but they have little peep ones i thought i would show you guys because these are really cute okay i'm gonna get them a new cup which they need one anyway i think i'm gonna get this simply modern one for bentley this would be easy to use like it has a little spout for brooklyn i think i'm gonna get her this one because it has the same little spout but she would find this one much cuter. Okay, so like another really fun idea to do, and I guess this isn't quite for like an Easter basket or whatever, but if you're going on vacation, is getting a board game and taking it with you, like a board game that you don't normally play. Hunter and I love to play board games with the girls, and I'm trying to find a new one. They have tons of options, but I'm trying to find like one that Brooklyn can play too. She's about to be four, so we usually play like shoots and ladders, Sorry, um, the kids Monopoly and um, there's another one, Candyland, we play that a lot, so, and Uno, so, and she's really good at board games. Um, 
if you guys have one in mind that you're like, oh, you didn't name this Kaylee, you should definitely get this one if you guys love board games, let me know down below because I really want to grab one to take on vacay with us. Oh my gosh, guys, they, <laughs> they have a board game called Karen. And it says the game of one star reviews. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry that this little portion here is feeling kind of rushed and my table is kind of messy, but I am taking on the second part of my day now, which is I'm about to have to get in carpool line and pick up my kids, pick up my nephew, take him to his tutoring, and um, I, of course, I want to show you guys what I got them before I pick them up from school. Okay, so I'll start taking out of the bag and show you as I'm taking it off. I do want to say... By the way, let me go back a little bit. Where are my Alani girls at? Who else like loves an Alani? Um, Orange Kiss, all my Kentucky family and friends, I keep seeing on Instagram, they are finding Orange Kiss everywhere. I have been able to find one here in Florida, one at a Walmart, and I'm in love with it. It's my favorite flavor yet, and now I can't find it. I've been like to Publix, to Target, to Walmart, um, Aldi because sometimes Aldi has them, but nope, I cannot find them. Anyway, <laughs> off topic. So for the Easter basket, I posted a TikTok and I will put it up here on the screen. And basically I said, instead of doing an Easter basket, we should do filling rain boots. And I actually filmed that last year and that's what I did last year for the girls and they loved it and it was great. And I wanted to do it again this year because of course our rain boots from last year don't fit them anymore. Because kids grow so fast and use these. Um, I went against that idea because we planned a beach vacation and we're gonna be going for a little bit longer than a week and the girls really don't have anything for the beach or the pool and their bathing suits from last year don't fit them because the bathing suits from last year were actually the bathing suits from the previous year and they were barely fitting last year. And I think I bought them like one new bathing suit each last year. Anyway, they needed like new bathing suits, new bathing suit cover-ups, all things like that. So I want to do a beach bag instead. So that's the thought for this year. And we still have traditional baskets for their Easter egg hunting that we're going to do with our family and um in case you're wondering like, well, where do they get their basket for Easter egg hunting? They have theirs from previous years. So for this beach bag slash pool bag, I bought everything from Walmart. I really like everything that I got except for I didn't find a beach bag. So I looked on Target because I was going to do like a drive up and pick it up because I really need to film this video and get this done today because I need to get this video out so that you guys have time <laughs> to buy things and get ready for your kids Easter. Target had nothing. Walmart had nothing. They had what I showed you guys in the beginning of the clip that was in their dollar shop. It was wipeable, it was waterproof, I liked that, but it was not what I was looking for. So I disabled the audio on that clip and I thought I would do a voiceover because a couple things changed. In that clip I told you guys that I was going to go on TikTok shop and buy the bog bag dupes for kids. Well when I went I was shocked to see that they were completely sold out. So I am actually going to go and I think I'm going to get Bentley the actual kid version of the bog bag because I've heard great reviews on them and they last and the quality is amazing and she's going to be going to the beach and the pool in Disney a lot this summer. So I'm going to go ahead and make that purchase for her. And then for Brooklyn, I think I'm going to get her a mesh little beach bag that she can walk the beach with and collect shells and things like that. So because of my poor time management skills, I will be giving them their Easter stuff in their traditional Easter baskets instead of the beach slash pool bags, unless those bags come in sooner than I think. Let's go ahead. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so I got the girls two of these bathing suit cover-ups. I really like that they have a hood and they are zippable. And so they have that like, um, I had to check because I thought I, I thought I accidentally got the wrong size, but I did it. It's UPF 50 plus. So that's great. That makes me feel good about them wearing this and they dry super easy. I got Bentley, the pink one. I got Brooklyn, the blue one right here. And I will, of course, have these linked below. Also got the girls each another bathing suit and I'm probably gonna buy them one more bathing suit too. Um, probably from Amazon or Target. 
as I was already looking um, at the ruffle butts ones. I love the ruffle butt bathing suits. They're so expensive, but they are such good quality, and I love that the sun protection is like built into them. So I probably will end up buying some of those, so I will link the ones that I'm going to get in the description box. So we have this one for Bentley, which is really cute, and this one for Brooklyn. I also got them bubble wands because I always get the bubble wands like whenever I do a boo basket for Halloween or um, in their stockings for Christmas. I'm sure at Valentine's Day, I always get them bubble wands because we have a front porch and a back porch and we're always on one of the one or the other. Got them these chocolate bunnies because I feel like it's just like a little traditional thing to do is throw a chocolate bunny in there. I got some nerves for, these are for Hunter actually, for his Xbox gaming. He always loves to have a little sweet treat when he's gaming. He's so strict on his diet, he eats super clean but he treats himself to the nerd gummy clusters. And then Brooklyn loves him as well, so I got her a little Easter pack for um, for her basket. And then I got Bentley. I thought I got some other candy too. I think I'm missing a bag. I don't know. The jelly beans, I got her just the like red and pink ones because those are her favorite, I think along with a lot of people. I got the Hawaiian Tropic Lip Balm, the one in 30, because this is the actu actually the only SPF, no, I'm lying. I used, I forget what it's called. It was like Monkey Bum, not, it's not Baby Bum, something bum, and there's a monkey on the logo. And that SPF Lip Balm works too, but this one also works. I've tried other ones that like don't work. I also picked up the girls some of these crayons. We got the pastel ones. We got the neon ones to go along with these coloring books that I got them. We have SpongeBob, which I showed you guys in the store already, and then also this one for Brooklyn. And they do have stickers on the first couple pages. So either they can do this in the car ride on the way to the beach, or they can do that when we're like at the beach for something to do when they're having downtime. And I just grabbed some filler, you know, to make it look cute. And then I also picked up the girls' new water bottles because they needed one. So I ended up getting the Simply Modern one for Batley. And then I got this little under the sea one for Brooklyn. And they both keep water cold for 12 hours, which will be great. And then I also did pick up the girls' two Barbies that are in swimsuits. This one I got because Brooklyn's blonde with blue eyes and with blonde and blue eyes and this one's brown with brown eyes and that's Bentley. Okay, so that's it of what I got them besides the beach bag and the sunglasses. So I talked about the beach bag already, so I'm gonna show you a couple of sunglasses on screen that I found that are super cute and the girls love sunglasses. <laughs> they wear them even when we're in the car, just like going to church or going to the grocery store or whatever. They're always wearing sunglasses. Okay, my camera died on me. I'm so sorry guys. That's going to complete the beach slash pool bag instead of doing an Easter basket this year. That's what the Easter bunny is going to bring them. And I know they're going to be so excited. You guys will have to let me know if you're doing anything um, that's different than the traditional Easter baskets. If you guys are doing traditional Easter baskets too, don't get me wrong. I love those. So don't be thinking that I'm saying steer away from that. I'm just thinking of doing something different just because we're already planning a vacay and I need to buy those things anyways. So that's why I'm doing that. All the links to everything will be in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys just a little overview of Bentley's um, section and then Brooklyn's little section of what's going to be in the bags. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys there. Bye.